What's up team? Welcome back to another video. If you are a regular on this channel, you know that we do videos on health education, movement tips, and fitness gear reviews. But today, I just wanna talk about something different, and that difference is YouTube. When I started this channel a little over a year ago, my initial goal was just to have a place to house the video content that I was putting together as a way to educate others uh, in my PT practice. As the months grew on, I slowly realized I had a passion for videography and photography and I wanted to use those skills and passions to do a lot more videos and try to grow the YouTube thing. So in January of 2021, I set out to make a full video every single week for the entire year. And my goal with that was to try to grow my channel from the measly 23 subscribers that I had to a thousand subscribers so that I could start to monetize the channel and actually make it all worthwhile. So a little over a year later, I surpassed the 1000 subscribers mark. My channel is doing relatively well. I'm getting a little bit of monetization with AdSense and things are moving in the right direction. And I'm starting to honestly feel a little bit of pressure around trying to keep up with the one video a week task that I set for myself. As any decent YouTuber will tell you, when you're trying to grow your channel and get started and get things moving in the right direction, it's important that you have some consistency. For me, posting once a week at a minimum was the consistency and the discipline that I needed to get myself where I wanted to be. But now that I've gotten to this point, I feel like the channel is growing at a steady rate on its own and I don't necessarily have to be doing one full video every single week. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with wanting to do one video every single week, but I am a full-time physical therapist now and Energy Physio is growing. I have a lot more responsibilities as far as increasing my sales skills, uh, focusing on the things that we're doing in the clinic, and I'm finding myself with less and less time to fit in trying to make these longer videos that have the amount of production value and valuable information that I wanna share with others. I'm getting to a point now where I feel like I would rather my videos be released further apart and have a lot more sustenance to them than me trying to find something to make a video about every single week just to keep up with the consistency and keep with that YouTube grind. I guess what I'm trying to say is the problem is not with YouTube itself. The problem with YouTube is that we place unexpected and unneeded pressure on ourselves to be grinding so much so often in order to get somewhere that we think is gonna make us happier and uh, make us more money and this or that. The truth of the matter is once I hit that 1000 subscriber mark, it felt great for a little bit and now it's just a number for me. I'm seeing it steadily climb and I'm not focusing on it as much anymore. What I'm really figuring out is that my passion is in providing really good video content for people and sometimes that's going to take me you know, somewhere between one to two weeks to be able to put everything together in a video that makes sense and gets the right amount of views and is worthy of your guys' time and attention. Lately, I've been getting very passionate about uh, barefoot, minimalistic footwear. Uh, I'm super passionate about getting your feet in a state that's going to improve your performance and make you happier and healthier in the long run. So I've been collaborating with a couple of different shoe brands to review some of their shoes so that I can share that knowledge and information with you guys. In order to make the videos that I wanna make that are good and worth putting on the internet, it takes a lot more time. And I'm finding myself feeling really stressed out about trying to fit these things in a very tiny window just to hit that one video a week mark. And I guess I'm making this video to sort of let myself know that it's okay, that I don't need to be sticking to that regiment. I can make videos when the time feels right and make things that I'll be proud of when I put them on the internet. My advice to you, if you're a brand new YouTuber and you're just trying to figure everything out, is to stay consistent through a certain point and when you get to the stage where you feel like you've been consistent, you've been sticking with it, and now you just want to make content that uh, is inspiring for others but is also fun to make, then allow yourself to back off a little bit. Uh, the algorithm's not going to kill you, your channel's not going to go away because you didn't post every single Saturday at the same time frame. It's a lesson that I'm having to teach for myself and hopefully this short video will help you sort of learn that lesson as well. I'm really excited about a couple of the footwear collaborations that I have coming up. Uh, I'll go ahead and preview a couple of the brands. I am going to be reviewing the... Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If it helped you and if you liked it, please hit that like button. 
uh, save it, share it with others, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for notifications if you want to see more videos like these or the other types of videos that I make on this channel as well. Uh, and until next time, go out and enjoy the weather because it's rainy here for me. So if it's nice where you're at, enjoy it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.